October 2025. Astronomers spot a subtle, unexplained push on 3I Atlas, a non-gravitational acceleration that shouldn't be possible without some hidden force. Could this be a slow-burn probe, as the engine hypothesis proposes? Or is there a more conventional answer? Understanding the real stakes means questioning what counts as evidence, and why this odd momentum profile changes the entire debate. So what did scientists actually measure? Orbit analysts working with the latest astrometric data found that 3I Altas, as it swept through perihelion, did not follow the precise path predicted by gravity alone. The object's measured positions, tracked against background stars with sub-arcsecond accuracy, showed a consistent statistically significant offset. This offset, known as the residual, is the difference between where the object should be and where it actually appeared in the sky. When only gravity was used to model the trajectory, the fit left a noticeable error. Adding a small, persistent non-gravitational acceleration to the model sharply reduced that error, improving the fit to the observed data. The timing of this anomaly centers on the perihelion passage, when 3I Altas was closest to the Sun. The improvement in orbital fit is not subtle. By including this extra force, the model's predictive accuracy increased beyond the threshold of random noise or catalog error. The residual wasn't a one-off blip. It persisted across multiple nights in independent observatories, each using their own reduction pipelines and star catalogs. The best fit acceleration was about 4.9 micrometers per second squared at a heliocentric distance of 1.36 astronomical units, with both radial and transverse components. This means the push wasn't just away from the Sun, but also had a sideways element relative to the object's orbit. No visible outgassing or comet-like activity was detected in deep imaging or spectroscopy. That absence makes the measured residual more than a curiosity. It demands a physical explanation. The result is a quantitative puzzle, a clear, repeatable improvement in trajectory fitting, with the residual dropping only when a non-gravitational force is included. The next step is to ask what could possibly cause this push, and whether it fits any known natural mechanism or points to something less familiar. Every theory for 3I Altus's odd path faces a basic rule. Momentum must be conserved. To change direction, the object either sheds mass like a rocket or is pushed by something external such as sunlight. Both options come with strict demands. If mass loss is the cause, the numbers are unforgiving. For a comet-sized body to accelerate as observed, it would need to expel between a tenth and a thousandth of a kilogram per second, enough to create a visible coma or tail at typical comet speeds. Yet deep imaging and spectroscopy near perihelion revealed no trace of gas or dust. The absence of any visible outflow sets hard limits on undetected mass loss. Radiation pressure from sunlight offers another route. Here, the force depends on how much area is exposed per kilogram of mass. To match the measured acceleration, 3I Altas would need an area-to-mass ratio hundreds or thousands of times greater than any known comet, more like a thin sail than a solid object. Thermal and optical data show no evidence of such an extreme structure. If a sail or ultra-thin sheet existed, it would either reflect sunlight or glow in infrared, but neither signal appears. Both scenarios predict clear, observable effects, a plume or tail for jets, or a vast, lightweight structure for sunlight. So far, neither fits the evidence. Comet scientists approach 3I Altus's anomaly with a toolkit built on decades of unpredictable behavior from small, icy bodies. The first and most tested explanation is asymmetric outgassing, jets of vapor erupting from sunlit surface patches. Even a tiny, undetected plume can nudge a comet off course, especially if it's linked to the object's rotation. If this is happening, the acceleration should vary in sync with the spin, producing subtle, periodic changes in the trajectory. Deep imaging and time series photometry would reveal these as rhythmic brightening or shifting patterns, but so far, no such cycles stand out. A second possibility is dust-driven mass loss. Some comets shed fine particles without much gas, especially if their ice is buried beneath a crust. 
In this scenario, the object's brightness might change in the optical but not in the infrared, and the coma could be faint enough to blend into the background. Careful analysis of the light curve, tracking how the object dims and brightens, can test for this kind of hidden activity. A third natural route involves thermal fracturing or the release of super-volatile ices. If 3I Altas is rich in exotic materials, even small amounts of sublimation could provide persistent thrust below current detection limits. Each of these models predicts a unique signature, rotation-linked thrust for jets, brightness only changes for dust, or a large surface area signal for radiation pressure. The challenge is that none has left a clear fingerprint in the data so far, keeping the field wide open for rigorous testing. Engineered propulsion, if it were present in three I altas, would leave behind a set of unmistakable clues. The most direct sign would be a narrow collimated exhaust plume precisely aligned with the direction of the measured acceleration, something far more focused than the diffuse outflows seen from natural comets. Spectral analysis would need to reveal chemical or isotopic signatures that do not match any known cometary material, such as unexpected molecular lines or ratios pointing to non-natural origins. In addition, a true engine would likely produce thermal infrared excess inconsistent with solar heating or show abrupt changes in acceleration, on-off cycles or shifts tied to the object's orientation, none of which have been observed so far. For any claim of artificial thrust to stand, scientists require independent confirmation of the orbital anomaly from multiple observatories, each using separate reduction pipelines and star catalogs. The orbit solution must remain reproducible, with the non-gravitational acceleration persisting across new datasets and time windows. Peer-reviewed publication is mandatory, with open error analysis and clear documentation of all methods. Only direct evidence, engineered exhaust, anomalous spectra, or reproducible orientation-linked thrust can justify a propulsion hypothesis. Until then, the evidence bar remains high, and every new data point is weighed against this checklist. In October 2025, orbital data revealed a statistically significant non-gravitational acceleration for 3I Atlas near perihelion, improving trajectory fit beyond gravitational models alone. This single measurement forced researchers to weigh physical explanations, from volatile mass loss to the extreme area-to-mass ratios needed for radiation pressure. Each natural scenario predicts distinct, observable markers. Yet to date, no direct evidence such as aligned exhaust or exotic spectra has been documented. As of now, no classified files have been released, and key internal communications from the initial analysis remain unpublished. The international scientific community maintains that only reproducible independent measurements and clear diagnostic signatures can support extraordinary claims. While the slow burn probe hypothesis highlights our limits, the facts remain. The anomaly is real, its cause is undetermined, and future data will decide between natural and artificial explanations. Until then, 3I Atlas stands as a test of how we interpret signals from beyond our solar system.